this test, both the white car and our truck will be moving so that we can make sure we are within radio range as long as possible. So this time, both Mythbusters are in the driver's seat. Jamie for the Beast and Adam the Impala. <laughs> and with the shields down, they hit the gas. In three, two, one, go. However, controlling one moving vehicle from another isn't easy. You're going way off. Oh, it's moving off to the right a bit. Oh, it's way right. Get back in the center. As the car veers out of control at 50 miles per hour, ah, stop. Adam puts the brakes on the test. All I see is a cloud of dust. <laughs> I can't even see the car anymore. This is a great example of why you run tests, because that didn't work at all. Trying to drive the rocket car via the remote screen while the dump truck is moving threw my sense of direction and steering completely out of whack. It's just, it's not feasible. We've got enough signal strength to make it to the berm, we're pretty sure. There's enough things that could already go wrong without adding that difficulty, so the truck will remain stationary for this test. With so much that could go wrong, it's all about limiting risk which means keeping it simple and keeping the beast stationary. So the last thing to worry about is the rockets. For due diligence, we test fired one of the rockets out of the batch of rockets we're gonna be using on the cars. And it was successful. The thing is that these rockets are basically a controlled explosion, and to get the most power per pound out of them, they push them right to the edge. And if they make a mistake and they push them a little too far, You've got a pipe bomb, and that's basically what happened on the second rocket car. This time, since we've done test fire and it was successful, got it. we anticipate we should have a successful run on the cars. Well, those could be famous last words. But with the equivalent force of a JATO wired for action, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> this little Impala is packing heat. In plain talk, 10,000 pounds of thrust is 4,500 horsepower. That's a lot of go fast. A lot of go fast. And with the rockets locked, loaded, and live, the countdown can begin. All right, this is it. 10 years in the making from the very first episode of Mythbusters. And here is how our test is going to work. Adam and I will be driving the rocket car from inside this thing right here, which we call the beast. It's our mobile bunker. Troy Grant and I will be here in the command center, monitoring the car, getting up to speed. When it hits its mark, I'll hit this button. And then, one second later, the rockets will ignite, and that rocket car will go racing straight into the burn. And if all of that works absolutely perfectly, and this myth is true, we should find this car converted into nothing but a hunk of metal embedded in that mountain over there. So at T minus 40 seconds, it's chalks away. Okay, the rockets are armed, we are on our way. And then finally, it's all over to Adam. All right. <sighs> all right, all systems are ready. You ready? I'm ready. I swear my heart's beating like a hundred times a second. Here we go. Carrie, are you ready on the button? Ready. Tori, are all the cameras rolling? We are ready here in the bunker. All right, let's do this. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rocket car, Jado, mission accomplished in three, two, one. Break off. Here we go. There she goes. 